Size doesn't matter, it's inner values that count. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today I have the smallest fountain pen from Kaweco here, namely the Kaweco Lilliput. In this case, the company Kaweco has kindly provided me with a test sample, namely the model from the Kaweco collection. Inside the green cardboard slipcase is a sturdy metal box Kaweco is known for. In it, we have the small fountain pen. The first look at the Lilliput shows that we have no clip here, and you can also immediately see that the pen is made of metal. The shape is quite symmetrical, with the cap having a slightly larger diameter than the barrel. The ends of each are rounded. On the finial there is a Kaweco logo. We have also added the Kaweco collection lettering there as well. The end of the barrel is decorated with a small thread. The cap is screwed and can be opened with about 3 turns. Underneath we have the small metal grip section and the nib. The cap can then also be screwed onto the thread at the end of the shaft. As you can already tell, this is a cartridge fountain pen. This is because it cannot be fitted with a normal converter. This one is clearly too long. Also a mini converter does not fit, because this is also too long. But this is grease converter from Kaweco. This is small enough to be used in the Lilliput. But let's have a look at some details. Here we have the fine Kaweco collection lettering on the cap. A look at the small thread at the end of the barrel. It's very nice to see that this is smoothly executed, making it comfortable to the grip. The nib is well made as we know it from Kaweco. In this exemplar, however, the feet is not exactly centered, but minimally offset. So minimal, it is not a problem in use. The hand position with such a small pen is difficult. And without the cap on, the Lilliput is only usable for short notes for me. With the cap on, however, it can be used well. Let's take a look at the fountain pen in the writing sample. This shows a nib that writes well and provides minimal feedback. The nib is rather rigid. With pressure, however, a minimal line variance is achievable. Too little to speak of flex. By the way, filled in here is a diamond writer's blood. But let's take a look at this small fountain pen in size comparison. Here we have it with a Visconti Homo sapiens, a Diplomat Arero, an online Eleganza, Alami Studio and Alami Safari. This does a great job of showing how small the fountain pen really is, with a closed, open or with a cap screwed on. It is always the smallest fountain pen. In the second comparison I have it here with the Cleo Scribbent Aurora Laguna Dragon, a Waldmann Liberty, its big brother Kaweco Supra, a Mont Blanc Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and an online Bohemian Arts. The Supra can be made small by removing a part and is then about as long as a Lilliput. 
Interestingly, the Lilliput with a cap on is longer than the Mont Blanc Mozart. The Lilliput is really well chosen by the name. It really is a Lilliput. A very small fountain pen. Here in the size comparison, we could also draw a comparison to the big brother, the Supra. Because it really is a big brother. The resemblance is clear. And without the extension piece in the Supra, it's about the same size. But the Lilliput is even smaller than the already small Mont Blanc Mozart. The Lilliput is small, but with the cap on, it's quite usable even with large hands. And it's small enough to carry around easily. It fits well in any pocket. And thanks to the metal body, it is also quite robust. After all, there is no clip that can be damaged. Especially in this version of the Kaweco collection, it's an eye catcher. Small, a green metallic exterior. It's small, but it still writes well. It is available in various colors and metal versions. And it is available in the nib width extra fine to extra broad. The only real limitation is just that you can't really use a converter properly. Because even a mini converter is too long in this fountain pen. Kaweco has this grease converter in the range, but currently, as far as I can see, it's no longer available. So the only option is to use it with a cartridge. But since it's the ideal fountain pen for on the go, using it with cartridges is handy anyway. In summary, size really doesn't matter. Because a small Kaweco Lilliput is in no way inferior to the big pens, except in size. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little review of this little fountain pen. And many thanks to Kaweco for the test sample. If you like, subscribe to the channel. Here are always reviews and tips. See you next time.